Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. Yeah, and speaking of the coast, of course it's dark. It's hard to see, but we are looking at Charleston Harbor and you can tell the camera shaking a little bit. We still got some wind going on around the low country, but it's not too bad. Tropical storm warnings have been re removed. We have gusts over 20 miles an hour as that storm's moving away from Charleston, but just happy to report that conditions are calming down on the coast. There's some rain moving through Georgia and we'll get a piece of that tropical moisture as we go into the day on Tuesday. Showers in the morning, a few thunderstorms by the afternoon. Wednesday and Thursday, smaller rain chances. Just the kind of stuff you typically see in the summer. A couple pop up showers and storms, but nothing widespread. Friday brings a much better chance of rain. That's going to be a cold front and it's actually going to bring some pretty nice weather for the holiday weekend if we can get it to clear. The problem is if it hangs around, We'll end up with more showers and storms. But speaking of that, we've got tropical depression, Danny. It's moving into Georgia now, producing some heavier downpours around Macon, um, and that's going to be moving closer to the Atlanta area. Uh, it's going to lose basically its circulation and any kind of tropical characteristics by tomorrow morning. That's why the track doesn't go any farther. It just kind of dissipates as it gets toward the ATL early tomorrow morning. Now for us, we're not expecting any huge impacts here, but it's going to feel very steamy outside as that Atlantic moisture increases across the area and those showers and storms pop up as well. Fox Radar 3D just showing a random little shower there in northern Rutherford County was a thunderstorm, but it's kind of dissipated now and we may see a few showers enter Union County later, but otherwise it's mostly dry and it'll stay that way through most of the overnight and then showers develop toward tomorrow morning. It's near 80 in Greenville, 77 in Spartanburg and 75 for Asheville. Tonight, 70 is as cool as it's going to get. So you may be running the AC a little bit more tonight. An isolated shower is possible. Better chance for scattered showers through tomorrow morning uh, past that morning commute. Mid 60s for the mountains into your afternoon tomorrow. No 90s like we saw today, uh, but it's going to feel very sticky. Uh, temperatures in the low to mid 80s, about a 60% chance that your area will see rain at some point. No guarantee it's going to be heavy rain, uh, but there'll be scattered showers, some heavy downpours. Here's a look at future cast and notice that as we go through the overnight, it stays fairly quiet, but here's 7 a.m. beginning to see more moisture, more scattered showers. This could slow you down on your morning commute, and then we'll have some spotty storms developing into the afternoon. This latest run of the models fairly muted, and that actually makes sense. If we get the showers in the morning, it's going to keep us from getting all that unstable into the afternoon, but still showers lingering toward about 9 p.m. It will clear, and then we'll be looking ahead to Wednesday, which will bring fairly low storm chance, but still a few showers will pop and maybe a thunderstorm up in the mountains. The best chance of rain as it looks right now comes on Friday. It's with a cold front that will be on our heels Friday morning. We'll move through bringing a line of storms during the afternoon Friday. But here's the clincher. The European model helps to push all this rain out. Now the GFS tries to keep the rain over us on Saturday. So that's what's going to be interesting to follow. But by Sunday, looks like we should clear out. It's going to be some great weather for the 4th of July. So right now in the seven day forecast, I still have a chance of rain even through into Sunday because the models have been a little bit inconsistent. I want to see it really firm up before we can uh, give everybody hope of a beautiful 4th of July, but I am keeping my fingers crossed. Best chance looks to come toward late in the week for those showers and storms in the mountains. Watch for the increased moisture into this week into into Tuesday and then also into this weekend.